Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Ravenport. We are going to carry straight on from where we left off in the last episode, so let's get to it. Well, that's most of it, and he's actually done a really good job of getting an even spread all the way across the field. Which genuinely surprises me, I did not think he would get such an even, neat spread right the way across. So we'll just back that one up there. Okay. I'm busy praising his efforts, and now he goes and leaves a huge, dirty, great chunk on the very edge of it there. Well, huge, dirty, great chunk. There's a little, 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 little tiny bit there. Uh, go on. Go on a little bit further. A bit more. Right, I'm going to... Yeah, I'll stop the hired help a minute. So we will go through, and we will very quickly just tidy that bit there. Just like that. Then we'll go down over here, and we will just tidy that bit there. Like that. And that bit there, and then that bit there, that bit there. He did such a wonderful job here, <laughs> leaving all of these bits everywhere, all over the map. But he, he, he did do a good job. He did do a, good, a, a, a very good job here. Absolutely wonderful. And that bit there. It's left that bit. There's a bit there that doesn't seem to like working for some strange reason. I'm not quite sure why. Um, but we, we can get this bit right here. There we go. I didn't think that it would do this field with just one load of lime. It's got to be said. It does surprise me that it actually managed to complete this. And we got a bit there. And we got a bit there. And we got a bit there. And we got a bit there as well. Right, job done. We have done all of our limes. So let's go and park this bad boy back in the shed. And then... Actually, once we've packed this one away, once once this one's parked up, we can fast forward the night. We can do that much at least, and then in the morning we might be seeing about uh, possibly putting some crops in for the animals or something like that. Let's just wiggle you in there. On in you go. There we go. Right. I uh, yeah. I keep pressing the wrong button and accidentally unloading my machines. It's fine. It's fine. We, we, we'll leave that one. It doesn't matter. And you can park right there. And then we are... How much have we got in the way of stored grains for our other price? We got 43,000 litres of wheat. And that is all. We have no oats. Hmm. We are going to want some more arable crops fairly soon. In order to be able to keep all of our stuff producing. I mean, we've got like a few... Well, we, we, we're we all right for the chickens, I think, but the horses, we're going to want a bit more fairly soon. Now, we need to just fast forward you, so we go like that. As soon as it gets to uh, 7 o'clock, 1900, we can jump forward a bit more in time. And then we can, well, we, we can skip the night, I mean. There we go, 1900, and... Uh, nope, I need to press R to skip the night. There we go, right, so sleep for 14 hours. 14 hours of decent sleep. 19,000 in vehicle leasing costs. And look at that. Our crop has grown very nicely. Absolutely fantastic. We've got our first growth stage up there on our poplars. This is looking good. Uh, let's go up to you a minute. And we will just do that little... We've got one little spot right there. And we just want to just, just take that one little bit out there. Just like that. There we go. Right, you're done. What was that? Oh, I'm going to want... Yeah, I do want this tractor. Don't. Oh, no, there's another little spot over there. I want the tractor because I want this one to be doing the seed drilling. Now, I know it does cost a bit to keep the tractor, but it costs quite a bit more to not keep the tractor and then get it back again. Because uh, you have a look at the prices on that. Yeah, we've gone 10 o'clock now. That's, that's fine. We can. They, they can still keep running. Uh, if we have a look at the price here, no, not you, uh, you right there, yeah, you're the one. Um, initial leasing cost is 12700 per day, not doing anything, is just 2500 So, five days, essentially, and it's going to be less than five days before we want to use this one again. So, we definitely want to keep this one. The next job that we're actually going to want to do with it, though, is going to be the planting. We're going to want the big seed drill, and we're going to want to bring that one up here, and we're going to want to do the planting with it. So if we get this 
wrapped around the pillars here and then get the train to wallop it. It's probably not the best way to go about approaching this job. Um, if we get this one back down to the dealership, then we can... We'll return the cultivator. We're not going to want that one again. Um, and we can leave the tractor at the dealership so that one's ready to pick up the next the seed drill which we're going to be wanting to use it for um because we've got lime to put on the field which we'll do with our other tractors that th those are fine for doing the lime they're also fine for doing the fertilizer we don't need them for doing any of the rest of it uh so there isn't actually anything else that we're going to need this tractor for for a little while so let's bring this one in here train's just gone past we can run in there. So I can literally just... I can park that tractor right there like that. Switch you off. And then I go into here. I go to garage. I go to the cultivator, if I can find it. There it is. And I return that cultivator like that. Right. Job done. There. Oh. Let me turn those beacons off. Oh. That one. There. Now we can go back to the yard. You know, we could do with putting a little bit of grain in for our chickens. Some of these are starting to get a little bit low. We got them down to 7,500 and them and them because we topped them right up. This one's down to just 5,000. Now, they do get six days worth of crop in them, but still, this, um, it is starting to get a bit low. So if we get a, a trailer load of grain right now, I can't remember exactly how much we can put in each of them. But that will see us through for a few days at least if we can top this one up so we'll swing that in round there fairly tight and we were going to oh yeah we've got that one in the way uh we were going to well we, we just we are just going to leave the top field we're not actually going to do anything in the top field until we have reached uh, i'm going to put this one right in the middle we're going to leave the top field until the poplars are ready to harvest. And then we'll see about planting that one while we're harvesting the poplars. Because if we go up and we try and plant it now, it's going... To, you know, that's essentially pretty much all we're going to be able to do. There's not a lot else that we can do on the farm. And I think it's just going to take a, a long time. So trying to get another, you know, if we were playing this game normally or if I was doing this as the time lapse, then yes, it would make perfect sense to go and plant that one and then we've got something growing while we're waiting for the poplars to grow and you, we'd be able to do two birds with one stone. Um, but this isn't the time lapse series, is it? This this is different. You know, playing a, a Let's Play series, you, you, I, you do things differently. Um, than you would ordinarily, just so that you can keep things moving along. And so that's what we're doing at the moment. We're, we're kind of foregoing a bit of realism on this with regards to keeping the crops going and, and keeping everything full, just so that we can keep everything moving along. So we'll come in here and we will top these up. We'll pop a little bit in here like this. And we're not, again, we're not doing anything with that field up there. It would probably be a good idea to go and plant a bit of wheat in that field as well. But overall, I don't think we're going to suffer any massive losses from not doing that. Now, if we have a look in here, I'm pretty sure it's actually that one. 5,000 in there. Um, I don't know how much it's going to take. If we put, we'll try and put in about 15,000. So we want to go down to about 15,000. Oh, it's only put about 13, 20,000 altogether. So we might actually be able to top up all of the chicken pens. We might be able to. So if we get 12,000 in here, we had, what, 45,000? Uh, we'll certainly be able to top a couple of them. Well, we, we can top a couple of them right up, but I think we might be able to get a bit more on that in. Um, we, we may be able to do all right for all of the chicken pens, and that's going to last for six days which means that our field where we got the poplars will then be able to put some wheat in there and uh, fill that one up so that one will do absolutely fine i need to back up a bit more there we go so dump that lot into there how much is that one going to take there we've still got five thousand left in that one i'll go and top the trailer up again now so there's two pens that are completely full it's gone seven o'clock now 
And so we've got the top pen. We got that one. Oh, I see. No, we, we've got the one that's uh, got the least amount. Is is still not full. Right. I'll slow that to fifteen. Whatever we've got left, we need to split it evenly between these two pens. And then we're going to have to hope that we've got enough to, to be able to last. I don't want to go planting anything in the little small field if we can help it. And um, the idea was that up in the top field, we would plant... Uh, this one here with the poplars, we'll plant wheat in. And then up in the top field, we were going to do um, maize. So that we could do a big silage harvest. But... I'm not so I'm not 100% sure we're going to be able to do that now. I'm I'm sort of thinking, well, you know, we are going to need a load of stuff for the chickens, but also if you have a look, we don't have any spare oats and the horses are going to need oats fairly soon. I mean, we've got one lot there that well, they're not doing actually. Horses and oats are doing better than the other one. So we we can put 9,000 liters into each pen here. So we'll put 9,000 into this one. We'll put 9,000 into the other one. And we'll see how long that lasts. Uh, I'm not going to be able to swing that round without getting hooked on that fence. Let's try that again, shall we? Twist that one round there. That's better. There. And we can back up this way. Obviously, we're going to need a big chunk of cash available to be able to do the uh, planting for the maize and do some other stuff. But we're going to get a big chunk of cash because we're going to be selling off all of the poplars. Plus, we're going to have mountains of eggs to sell. And there's going to be wool to sell as well. By the morning, we're, the eggs, we're really going to do very well on the eggs. You look at how many egg pallets we got here now. We're going to do extremely well on eggs. And then we've also got the wool as well. So I, th I think we're going to be all right. As far as everything is concerned, I think we're going to do just fine. We're not going to have to have any concerns whatsoever. So we top those up right there. This one here has got about 16,000. That one's got about 15,000. That's good. That's good. That's keeping us going. And then grass and hay in there. I mean, they're doing all right. They're doing absolutely fine. So we'll just bring that one round and we ought really to get our front loader on and we will go and put a couple bales in for the sheep. They're, they are doing okay. They're, 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 um, they're ticking along quite nicely. So if we bring the trailer down here, we're not going to actually want this trailer, are we? This trailer here is not something that we're going to want anytime soon now. Uh, something that we are going to want though is the... Just bring that one back round like that. There we go. And unload you there. Uh, yeah, something that we are going to want fairly soon is we're going to need to get the tractor up in the top field back down. It's got the cultivator. We've got the stump grinder up there as well. And there's a few other bits and pieces that we need to do. We also need to make sure we deal with the trailer with the logs in it that we left up there. We've got to go and get that one back. We've got to drag that one out and we've got to rescue it. So that's something that is quite high on my priority list because I don't just want to leave it parked there um, damaged and broken. Plus there's timber on it and we, we can sell that. That's, that's more money. More money coming in is always a good thing. So let's just unload you. Um, well, I don't want to unload. I just want to take that one off there like that. This is our last task for the day is to go and put a little bit of hay in for the sheep. And then once we've done this, we can go to sleep for the night. And then in the morning, we will we, we'll just double check the animals. I think the animals would probably be all right. We won't need to do very much to them. Um, and we can see about selling eggs. We can see about selling wool. We can see about doing all kinds of wonderful things. Can I get down three bales from the top? You don't have a very high reach on this. If I, I can bring, actually, I can bring that down by quite a long way. Go in like that. And then we pick up like that. Ideal, look at that. There we go. Nice. There we go. Oh, I'm very pleased with that one. There, and we just very, very gently pop that down there. And then we come up like that and we get the next one. So we've got... Oops. 
Don't go, too, don't, don't go into it too hard. There we go. Right, so then I can pick two bales up. And we'll take these over and we'll feed these two bales to the sheep. That should be enough. And it's 7 o'clock. It's, it's time to stop. It's, it's time to go in, have a bit of a break. And I'm looking at the pallets right there. And we haven't got a great deal of wool. So we're not going to have a great deal of wool by the morning either. But we should have a very nice quantity of eggs that we can go and sell. So we'll, we'll ignore the wool for now. And we'll worry about the eggs instead. And, and just deal with those. We've also got those two boxes there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this tractor right here. I'm not going to do anything else to it. And I'm going to pick up one of these boxes of eggs. And I'm going to run it all the way over here. Then, okay, fine. I will dump it on the floor instead. Then, once I've run this one all the way over here, I will then go back to our house. And we will get a little bit of shut eye. So let's just dump you into there. There we go. And we got one more box that we need to bring up. We will bring that box up. The poplars are growing quite nicely, actually. I'm very pleased with those. And all of the other little jobs that I've been listing off, they are still on my to-do list. It's just that we're not going to do them yet. We've um, th There are other things that we need to do. So let's do that, and we will sleep as long as we can. 14 hours, just like that. So there goes the poplars... How are they going to do? Are they going to be ripe in the morning? Are they going to be ready to harvest? Nine o'clock now. I don't know if these are ready to harvest or not. Ah, uh, uh, no. Fertilite. It still says growing. I love this. I do love this. We're going to have to get a horse in a minute and we're going to ride it. Okay, now I'm lost. How did I manage to turn myself round completely? I thought I turned round and started heading towards the edge of the field. I didn't. When I looked on the map, I was going in the other direction. Uh, we'll slow that down a bit. Five times is all right for a minute. So food for the chickens is doing just fine. And you and you right there. Then we'll have a look at the sheep a minute. They're doing fine. They, they We don't need to do anything to them at all today. The horses... Again, we don't need to do anything. We've got 54% on some of them, 65% on some of them. Those are all okay. And then we move to the next lot, and we got 75% on some of them and 44% on some of them. So there's four of them are on 44. We've got 75 here. So two more days, and we'll have some horses ready to sell. So we, yeah, and, and that's like about 45,000 or four. four Probably 44,000 and something. But two more days. Two more days, we'll have horses ready to go. But their their food and everything is absolutely fine. It's, it, I mean, maybe those could do with a little bit. The rest of it is doing absolutely fine. And if we have a look in here, and we go to fruit types, we go to growth like that. You can see, when we judge it by the bit down the bottom there, we got a bit to go on it, but it's we don't have to worry about it too much. So, yes, we've got the needs ploughing around the edge. We um, we already said that we're going to ignore that. The lime, though, we do want to spread lime on that field. Just wondering when we should do it. I'll take that off. Fertiliser is pretty good for most of it. I mean, yeah, up through the middle we could do with some fertiliser. But the rest of it is actually pretty good. So, again, it's, it's kind of one of those things as whether we should do it or not. I think we should. I think we should go and put some fertiliser up there. Let's go and get this last box of eggs a minute. Grab you. And um, though we, I mean, don't really need to worry about fertilizer just yet, because we're going to be planting with fertilizer. We'll put fertilizer into the machine when we do all of the planting. Let's drop you. Oops. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Right. So our eggs are in there. Uh, let's have a look at the egg prices. See what those are like. We've got 4,792. We have broken the 5,000 barrier several times. So I think we should wait until we've got five grand. And then we can go and sell all of our eggs. Plus, it'll mean that we get more eggs. That's another good thing. So let's, while we're waiting for that, we get this one. And we'll see if we can do this with just this one. This is the first job that I want to do. I do need to get that case. I need to bring that one back uh, down here to the farm so that we've got something to do with that one. Let's whiz you on up through here. Look at all of this poplar here. We've got loads of it. 
Yeah, we're going to need a pile of money to be able to lease the, the poplar harvesting stuff. But, I mean, I say a pile of money. We're, we're going to need some money to do that. Now, you. How are we going to do this? I think we should be all right to do this by just kind of shunting this trailer around a little bit. Um, kind of like this. We've got a reasonably powerful truck. I can just sort of shunt that. He's slipping a little bit there. I'm getting it hooked on. I know, I know. If I can... If I can get up this side, we might be able to do something more with it. Yeah. If I can bring my truck up there. There we go, because... What it wasn't... That's it. What we weren't doing previously was that the, the angle of the truck meant that it was holding it up into the air. Now, we've kind of gotten around that bit. So if I... I, I need to keep pushing it backwards. I need to keep pushing it backwards. Go on. Oh, now I'm stuck. <laughs> I don't want to get stuck again. I want to be able to do this. I know that I'm probably not treating this truck... As well as it could be treated, you know, some, sometimes you can definitely treat your vehicles a little better than what I do on this farm. But, occasionally needs must. And right now we need to get this one out of here. We don't want to leave it there forever. And we've got it hooked on. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Excellent. Right, we'll take this one. We're going to run this over to the wood cell point. Uh, the, the one just over here. We're not going to take this one all the way over to the sawmill. We will sell these few logs, and then when we've done that, we can bring the trailer back and we can just park it up somewhere, and then we don't need to worry about it. And then the other job that we really want to worry ourselves with is getting... Oh, hang on. Yeah, we haven't built our other track yet. It's on our to-do list. We'll just have to go up across it. I mean, we can't, We could go round the proper route. We could go round the road, because uh, we, we do still have access on the road. But uh, we, we'll ignore that for a minute. And we'll go this way instead. And we go racing up through the back here. So we, we also want to go and get the case tractor and bring that one back. And uh, just just so that we can park it up in the yard. We've got the stump grinder up there. And we've got the, um, the cultivator on the tractor as well. And uh, we stop you there. Okay. How much are we going to get for this? I estimate 3,000. Okay, 7,800. I forget that we're on the easy settings on this one. 7,800 for three small trees. That's that's not bad, really. If you could get that in real life, I think you would do very well for yourself if you had any trees whatsoever growing on your land. Then I don't actually know what timber, what timber prices are like for anybody because I've never really had to sell timber. I've gone and bought it, but that's after it's been through all the sawmills and everything and it's all planed timber and, you know... You know, all the fancy stuff. That's the stuff that I've gone and bought. we we'll bring you down here. I'm just going to screech to a halt right there. We'll put that one away in a little bit. We're going to go over here and we're going to feed Cerberus. Cerberus, come on. There you go. Some food there for you. We haven't fed Cerberus in absolutely ages. He does deserve a bit of food. We haven't fed him in ages. There he goes. He's a very happy pooch now. See, look at him. He's all pleased and happy with life. Right, we'll leave him there. And we are going to go up here. We're going to get that one. And then there's a cultivator up the other end. See, lime. Do I do the lime before I... No, I'm not going to. main reason I'm not going to is because we're still on negative money. So I don't actually have the money to pay for the lime. I suppose I could. I suppose we could go and start doing that. Um... Get that spread on the fields. Have I got anything else? Uh, no, actually, we'll, we'll worry about lime a bit later on, I think, because we can put, like, fertilizer being spread and we, we can do things like that uh, later on as well. It doesn't matter. As so long as we've got the lime there, um, once we've planted, we could then go and spread the lime on the field then. I know... Um, well, a lot of people are telling me that the lime should go on... And then you cultivate it or you plant after the lime has gone on. So it's incorporated in the soil. And you wouldn't apply the lime after planting. 
Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything about lime because I've never had to actually apply it to a field. So I, I, I really genuinely know nothing about what is involved with that. Uh, but that being said, I don't think it's going to matter too much with putting the lime on directly after planting and then allowing it to sort of wash in. Because surely it, that's, that's kind of how it would work, isn't it? I mean, we could always start doing... We, we could always do the lime first, then go and do the planting. Um, so we go round with the lime spreader and we do a couple rounds of that. I'm actually... Oh, no. I was just thinking you know, that we're going to have to come all the way down to the farm for the lime. And that's actually... A, that is a fair way of having to come all the way down this track. But uh, there's a lime refill point right next to the biogas plant, which is pretty much next to our field. It's, it's only just a very short jaunt away from our field, which is why we want to buy the biogas plant in the first place. So we'll be, all, we'll, we'll be just fine with that bit. That's, that's not going to affect us in the slightest. Now bring you down here. So we'll put, the, we'll put the stump grinder in first. And then we'll put the cultivator in behind it because the stump grinder is the one that we're not really going to be wanting. I don't think we've got a lot of work left to do with that stump grinder anymore. So if we do that there a minute and we lower you, take you off there, then I can spin round and be told that I'm not allowed to take this cultivator off while it's in the folded position. Well, actually, I don't know if I can just, like, take it off and drop it where it is. I think that is something that we might be. It's certainly something that you're able to do with some of the machinery. So right there, right, you've got to unfold it just to lower it down. If I do that, though, it does at least allow us to take it off. It's, it's not very elegant, <laughs> dumping it onto the ground like that. But at least it works. At least we've got something there that works. And then I'll park this tractor up here under the fence. Bring you back there. And you can stop right there. Right, now let's have a look at our prices. 4,700 there on eggs. These egg, the egg price there is going up. Animals are, uh, like I said before, they're absolutely fine. Um, kind of brought back everything I want to bring back. So if we speed it up to 120 a minute... Well, that's just ticking along a little bit. We're waiting for that field to ripen. And hopefully for the egg prices to adjust as well. We know that we've got one lot of egg prices. They're going up. Um, it's those right there. Now, if I remember how to do this, I think it was control... I don't actually remember what the button is to press to bring up my um, information screen. I think it was... Is it F9? Yeah, you have F9 there, and then ah, F11. Right, you press and hold F11, and then you use the arrow key, and that brings it out like that. To there. But I've also done something wrong by... What did I do there? Go and press the wrong key. Oh, wait a minute. D O HUD. HUD. Uh, F11. Fill type to mount. Fill type to mount stations. And bring that out. HUD on. Yeah. The, the, the text you can see coming up is like way behind what I'm actually doing. That's not doing anything. So F... Oh, F9. Press and hold. It was bringing out prices and stuff, and now it's not coming out, and I've done something wrong. Yeah, I, 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 I broke it. What, whatever's happened, I've broken that mod. Unless the, the mod doesn't work with the, the new version of the game. It could just be that the, the mod doesn't work very well with the new version of the game. That's entirely possible. Anyway, our poplars are ready to harvest. Right, we have at least got that. The prices over here for eggs are still screaming upwards. Well, there we go, folks. I'm afraid that's it. We've run out of time, which means that we need to head on home. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. 
And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.